Prepare to be amazed by the classic magic of Stuart McDonald. Stuart McDonald. Thank you. Thank Great you Great to much. have you here. Here are the whimsical workings of Stuart McDonald. We missed a really important element of this that would have given the whole thing away. I don't know what that element is, so you fooled us. <gasps> and, uh, the title of it is How I Fooled Penn and Teller Using Lean Principles and Continuous Improvement. <laughs> it would be called the Korean Tsunami. <clears throat> These magicians were absolutely sorcerers. They were so good that when they performed, it looked like it was digital. The Western magicians were literally standing in their seats in the auditorium screaming, No way! <clears throat> and then I went on. <laughs> and I couldn't figure out what was my current state. I couldn't figure out, well, how am I going to represent this? Uh, I had a video, and I pushed play, and I pushed pause with my eyes closed, randomly. And these are some of the snapshots that I got. I have no idea what's happening in the middle photo. <clears throat> Remember I said I was pushing pause, and let's see what it would look like if I push pause with my new act. That's the old act. Pushing pause, new act. Way different. Now, as magicians, the reason why you don't see a lot of good magicians is because we are lone wolves. We are not supposed to tell our secrets. So uh, I decided to make my act an open source. I opened it up to my audience, my friends, my colleagues, and I developed a team. Now, the funny thing is, is that nobody wants to criticize a performer because our egos are so fragile. <laughs> so I, I couldn't ask somebody, did you like my act? And if, if I said that, I was, always get the answer, it was great. But I needed to change the question because I needed more answers. I needed to get to the problem of the act because it really wasn't as good as I wanted it to be. So I changed the question to, what bothered you? And that really made a big difference because by saying what bothered you, me as an entertainer, when I'm up on stage, I don't want to bother you, I want to entertain you. Unintentional benefits will follow you. My unintentional benefit was not to be on Penn and Teller. It was to be in the World Championships of Magic. And you see the results here. So use these principles. They will work. Thank you.